Hi, welcome to Contributor Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to whiten teeth. Whether we're using professional models or just friends and family, everyone can benefit from a little bit of teeth whitening. This is a quick and simple edit that I think is definitely worth the time to take, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. First thing that we need to do is zoom in on the area at 100%. I'm just going to bring her smile into my workspace. The next thing that we need to do is make a selection. Anytime we're making a localized color correction, we always need to select the area that we're going to alter. I'm going to choose my lasso tool to make that selection. Clicking and holding on my mouse, I'm just going to quickly trace the area that I wish to alter, trying to trace within the lines. Now you don't have to worry if your selection isn't perfect the first time. You can always add or subtract from your selection. Holding shift, puts a little plus symbol next to the lasso and allows you to add to your selection as well as option or alt on a PC will put a little minus symbol next to your lasso. This allows you to remove areas of the selection that you don't want included. I think I'm pretty happy with this selection. The next thing that we do need to do is feather the selection. Going to select and modify, choose feather, and two pixels will be enough. So I'm just going to say, okay, what this does is make the selection around the image a lot more natural and prevents any hard lines when we make our alteration. The next thing that we need to do is bring up an adjustment layer. I'm going to choose our hue saturation. And when we're looking at teeth, the thing that we want to focus on is the yellow channel since most teeth have a yellow cast or hue. To remove some of that yellow or the, the density of the yellow, we're going to remove that saturation by bringing the saturation to the left hand side. As you can see, that removes a lot of the yellow. The next step that we can do to enhance the smile is brighten it a little bit more using lightness and we're going to take that to the right hand side. Using the preview, I can look at before and after. I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to remove this adjustment layer. The next step that we need to do once we're happy with the move that we've made is to merge the adjustment layer to the background layer. We can do this using the panel menu and choosing merge down. As you can see, the adjustment layer has now become a part of the background layer and her smile is now changed. And that's it, we're done. I hope this has been useful and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.